Hi, and welcome along to another Shearer Smokes. And this time you join me indoors. Uh, we're here in the Shearer Cigar Lounge, uh, which is based in my flat in my hometown of Tillicutri. Um, a couple of reasons for filming indoors. Uh, we're late into the evening now. It's a bit of a late night bowl for me. We're in the tail end of the Father's Day. And I'd just like to take the chance to wish all the pipe smoking, cigar smoking dads out there a very happy Father's Day. Hope you've all had a, a great day. I've been very fortunate in that I was off today. Um, so I've had my young son Boyd um, through uh, hanging out with him, which has uh, been great fun. Uh, the second reason is it gives me a chance to uh, show off my uh, smoking armchair. Mainly for the benefit of uh, Smokey Dan, who recently put up a video of a project he was working on uh, with his dad, uh, renovating and upholstering uh, an old chair of his, uh, with some great results. Uh, so Dan, when it comes time in a few years, when this uh, is needed of a makeover, I shall become, I shall come knocking on the workshop door. So uh, just giving you some uh, advance warning on that. Uh, so the pipe in question this evening is uh, a first for me. It's the Falcon International. Uh, now, as you know, with the Falcon, the stems and bowls are all interchangeable. Uh, this stem is a smooth bent dental stem, and the bowl is a briar bulldog. Um, there's a slight ridge there. I don't know if you can make that out. Uh, I'm going to go with the bulldog because uh, in the pamphlet that came with the pipe, uh, as you can see, there's quite a quite a selection of bowls. Um, but the uh, this one here, the bulldog, closely resembles the picture in the pamphlet. So I'm pretty certain that that's the that is the name for this one. Um, very nice looking pipe. Uh, very lightweight. Um, it's nice to hold and it smokes really nicely as well. Um, I do have some uh, sheer fun facts on the, the International uh, Falcon. Um, it was first introduced in 1977. Um, as I've already mentioned, of course, with the Falcons, it comes with the uh, interchangeable stems and uh, interchangeable bowls. Uh, the stem uh, can also be used with a 6mm uh, filter. Uh, there is quite a bit of smoking technology behind this pipe. Uh, which I've just been looking into uh, with the help of the pamphlet. And uh, I shall try and impart some of that knowledge on, um, so bear with me as I'm still trying to get my head around how it actually works. But basically, the smoke is drawn through the bowl into the bottom here, where they have a, a metal, uh, what they call a humidome. And basically moisture is collected here, uh, which in turn dries the smoke. Um, the smoke is then cooled as it passes through this lightweight aluminium stem, um, thus giving you a much more cooler, smoother smoke. Um, and I've already had about half a bowl before uh, filming, um, just to give it a, a first run out. And um, yeah, it definitely seems to be doing just that job. Um, so yeah, so it's been a great choice. This um, was a Father's Day stroke birthday gift from my two girls, Millie and Katie, uh, who went out and uh, sourced this of their own accord uh, using cigars online. And I think you'd agree they have uh, came up with a great choice. So of course that leads me to what's actually in the bowl. And um, the girls have come up trumps again and uh, they got me a tin of the Savinelli Armonia. Um, now I have tried this before, but only in a, a sample um, that I was given. So this is my very first tin that I've had of my own. And on opening the tin, the tin note is uh, you have that sweetness coming through of the Virginias. Um, but at the back of that, there is a really nice uh, chocolate aroma that comes through. 
Um, now, I believe that the Armonia blend has a citrus topping as well. Um, but that chocolate is uh, very distinct on the tin note. And being a cigar smoker, um, the cigars that I smoke, I come across uh, chocolate, uh, cocoa um, flavour quite a bit. Um, so to find it in a pipe tobacco is a bit of an extra bonus for me. Um, so as you know, the the Savinelli Ammonia is a ribbon cut, and there's some really nice uh, shades of tobacco in there. Um, so we have Kentucky uh, Leaf, there's Virginia's, Burley, and some Golden Orientals. So a really nice mix of um, tobaccos there. Um, in smoking the uh, Ammonia, that um, chocolate note in the tin um, is definitely coming through in the back end of the smoke, um, I find. Um, so far I'm finding it quite a, a mild smoke. As I say, it's quite late into the evening here. Um, but I think it's one that I would quite happily smoke during the day. Um, so, yeah, very pleased with the, the girls' choice of the, the, the come up trumps, as I said. Um, so I'm going to look forward to uh, just experimenting with the different stems and different bowls um, that are on offer from Falcon. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be of uh, of, of great interest. Um, so yeah, it's been a it's been a rather good uh, Father's Day. Um, I'm quite fortunate in that uh, my birthday is quite close to Father's Day, so every few years I hit the bonus of having Father's Day. Um, and my birthday on the same weekend, uh, which is uh, a double hit, which is uh, which is always nice, especially if I'm if I'm off. Um, so uh, yeah, so I've been uh, very well spoiled this uh, this uh, birthday and Father's Day. Um, the girls also came up with a a very novel idea, and uh, I'll drop a picture in to show you. Um, they got me a cigar. Uh, which they picked out again themselves and along with a personalised uh, cigar band that I can reuse um, which is, I think is a, is a brilliant idea and this is what it, what it looks like so yeah, so that was the uh, Shearer Smokes um, personalised cigar band a uh, very novel idea, and uh, again, a great choice from the, the good house, so thank you, Millie and Katie, for that. Uh, and the great thing is they're reusable, so uh, some uh, good photo opportunities uh, upcoming, I think. Um, so it's been a now great Father's Day. Uh, I had a very nice birthday too. Uh, I was working on the actual day, but I uh, made up for it on the Saturday. Took a trip into Glasgow and had a cigar hearth with uh, a friend of mine, Ali, who is the captain of the Ash Holes UK chapter. Uh, that's the Ash Holes Cigar Club, uh, which is now worldwide. Um, so a great bunch of guys uh, involved with that. Um, so yeah, it was just nice to sit down in company and enjoy a couple of good cigars along with some uh, good chat as well. Um, so I hope you've all had a, a great weekend. Uh, thanks again for tuning in. Um, I will be venturing outdoors on my next day off, planning to go to the small uh, village of Kouris, which is uh, just outside Kincardine. And uh, Kouris was used for some location shots for the series Outlander. So there's some great historical buildings there. Um, so hopefully I'll get some good footage to share with you. Uh, I'm planning to have a pipe up at the old abbey, which is situated there. So again, some uh, great opportunities for some good shots as well. So hopefully you'll join me for that one uh, when it's uploaded. Uh, until then, um, take care. 
And as always, my name's Shira. Enjoy your smokes. <laughs>